Ladies and gentlemen, lots of news popping off left, right, and center. Let's let's get on with this. All right, all right, all right. Here we go back again on the other side of the coin. All right, welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. First up, Julian Nagelsmann has admirers at Chelsea. The Blues have had an upturn in results recently, but any further negativity between now and the end of the season could leave the owners with a decision to make. Do you know what? As much as I want to believe this to a certain degree, I don't know, man. I can't, I can't come around with this because the more I think about it, the more I feel Grand Potter's probably going to see next season. I mean, if this guy, if if Graham Potter was going to get sacked, should have been sacked a long time ago. But I understand now Nagelsmann is available. He's he's been <laughs> ruthlessly sacked by Bayern Munich. He's in the market, and I get that. Christopher Vivell has a strong tie with um, Nagelsmann, working previously at Red Bull Leipzig. But financially, it's going to cost you know Chelsea Football Club to get rid of. Grandpa, I know a lot of people will say, look, Miz, doesn't matter financially, man. You know, Chelsea, Chelsea are not worried about the finances to get rid of top um to, to get rid of uh, grandpa to get rid of top ball. Um but we with so much that needs to happen, we need to get rid of a lot of players uh, in during the summer window. Uh, we made a massive loss uh, in the last financial uh, year that just went by. We do need to somehow balance the books uh, by the end of this particular season. And to add on top of that a particular manager, I don't know. I want to believe it. I want us to believe that we're going we're gonna to go for someone like Nagelsmann if the results don't turn around. But I just feel like the, the owners, five-year contract, man, it's so mad. It's so mad. Why did you give that long of a contract to Graham Potter? I know Nagelsmann had the same situation and Bayern acted ruthlessly and, and got rid of him and got in Thomas Tuchel, elite manager. And on top of that, I don't even think Nagelsmann is an elite manager, man. Like, I think he's good. I think he's got a lot of qualities. I think he suits our project. Young manager, young profile of players that we have here. But I'm not... I'm not completely sold with Nagelsmann. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't mind him, but he's not my first preference. My first preference would be Luis Enrique. That man knows, knows what it takes to win stuff. He's killed it in Barcelona. The caliber of players we have, we could potentially play his type of football. Nagelsmann could do, do the same thing as well. No, don't get me wrong. But is he of that elite nature? Like, this is Chelsea Football Club. Do you know what I'm talking about? I need big-time managers here. Big, big time. So, look, more negative results. Our upcoming fixtures, I've said it. Do you know what I mean? We've got Aston Villa. We've got Liverpool. We've got Wolves leading up to Real Madrid. I've said if, 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 if we keep on dropping points, we already dropped points against Everton. We were in a bit of a run. If we keep continuing this again, second time around, don't, don't forget the first time, two out of 17. Don't you forget about that record. If we have that again this time around, we will be left with no choice but to get rid of Grand Potter. But are the owners going to swallow that pill? Will they put their ego aside? Because these owners, they're backing Grand Potter, man. They really are. They're coming up with every little bit of excuses possible injuries too many players the squad's too full too many people to train it kind of makes me think that oh didn't have a preseason makes me think that they want to give grandpa an opportunity but next season we cannot have the same season as this season we'll see we'll see what happens uh, by the end of this season there has to be an assessment on grandpa where we finish in the Premier League, what we do in the Champions League, we've already been eliminated first round from, from uh, the, the domestic cups. It, it, you know, we'll, we'll see. Some of the players seem like they really like Grand Potter as well. So all of that needs to be considered. But let me know, Julian Nagelsmann, is that the kind of manager that you want at Chelsea Football Club? I think he's good, don't get me wrong. I think he's, 
is definitely be, like in my opinion it's probably better than grand potter but better than grand potter doesn't necessarily mean that's what we need i need i need elite i need elite and some of the rumors that's coming out now you know you, you'll see uh from from the german side of things sadio mane apparently intimidated nagelsmann um you know because Sadio Mane only got a few minutes against PSG, the first leg. Um, hey, if you get intimidated in the Bundesliga, come in the Premier League, some of the players, nah, man. Yeah. Intimidation, you need to be, you need to be the main front. You need to be the main guy. You cannot allow these players to, to run amok. Bayern Munich are looking at making a move for Mason Mount with Thomas Tuchel and admirer. Hey, I said this as soon as. I heard that Thomas Tuchel was uh, taking over Bayern Munich. I said, look out, look out for Thomas Tuchel trying to poach some of our players. Mason Mount is one that I stated straight away. Um, you know, Mason Mount actually did really well under Thomas Tuchel that Champions League season. Thomas Tuchel played Mason Mount regularly. He liked Mount's attitude. He liked his work, at work ethic. And Thomas Tuchel was getting a lot out of Mount. Mount was scoring goals, was getting into good good areas. So uh, I, I don't think this is too far-fetched. With Mount's contract situation and possibly Bayern Munich maybe wanting to revamp the side a little bit, they may get rid of a few players. Watch this space in regards to Mount. Watch this space. This is what Felix Johnston has to say uh, about Mason Mount's situation. I think this encapsulates the whole scenario perfectly understand mason mount has drawn a line in the sand with negotiations mount will leave chelsea if they don't offer what he wants disparity on length of contract and wages chelsea want a long contract um uh, chelsea want a long contract and fixed wages mount wants shorter higher fixed plus performance bonuses and further he goes on to say Things can change quickly, but at this point, I'm told Mount has drawn a line in the sand with negotiations, and Chelsea at this point are refusing to match his demands. It's simple as that. Mount wants a particular contract. Chelsea are just not willing to match that. As I've said in previous times, I don't think this is going to go the you know the way we probably want as uh, in the fan base. A lot of people want Mason Mount to you know uh, sign that contract extension. Me personally, I think there is a spot for Mason Mount at Chelsea Football Club. There's no doubt about that. But I don't think he's going to be a regular starter. And I think that's going to bother him. A move to Bayern Munich, I'm, I'm actually quite excited for him. He should probably think about this. You know, joining back with Thomas Tuchel, he's going to be fighting for trophies left, right and centre. Bayern are a force in Europe as well. Could be, could be something exciting. Could be something exciting. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts, ladies and gentlemen. I've got no issues with this. I've got no issues for, for us to let go of someone like Mason Mount. We're going to cash in, make some money, and you know, which will help us balance out the books. He's not someone that is an integral part to the first team side at the moment. I look at him as a rotational player. And I feel like there is some sort of deficiencies in his game as well. So it's not like it's complete. And he's been out of form for a very, very long time. So him going to Bayern Munich could be a good change for him. You know, joining up with Thomas Tuchel, a particular manager that he's done well for, could be could be another factor. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know. Now, Anthony Barry may not be able to uh, may not be the only Chelsea employee subject to interest from Thomas Tuchel over the coming months. We'll talk about the Anthony Barry situation very soon. Midfielder Mateo Kovacic will only have one year remaining on his contract in the summer, which has already alerted Manchester City. Bayern Munich could also enter the race to sign Kovacic. This is from Matt Law. Another player, another player that I penciled down that could potentially look to join up with Thomas Tuchel. Once again, we need to understand, you know, with all the midfielders that we have and that we're looking to get in the summer as well, we're linked with midfielders. Where does that leave Kovacic? Kovacic is injury prone as well. He tends to miss a lot of games with Chelsea for the past couple of seasons. He's been missing a lot of games. He is the captain of Chelsea Football Club now, which I like. Recently, there's been rumours that you know, Chelsea are potentially looking to you know, extend his contract out. They like him. Once again, got no issues either way. It can go either way. I don't mind us keeping Kovacic. I value Kovacic a lot. 
uh, I was thinking previously, Kovacic is a particular player should probably chip in with some assists and goals. In recent times, he scored a goal as well. I think there's been an assist here and there. But I wanted more. But a lot of people have been saying, look, he's, he's letting focus on the first phase of the game. And that's fine if that's the case. But in the summer, we should be going for a defensive midfielder alongside uh, Enzo Fernandez to, to combine with him. Then where does that leave Kovacic? Angelo Kante is going to get a contract extension. I don't know whether Ruben Loftus-Cheek is moving on. I don't know whether Conor Gallagher is going to move on. Grand Potter seems to really rate both of those players. Bringing a defensive midfielder on top of that could potentially even bring in another player like Romeo Lavia. We're linked with a lot of midfielders, man. Rice, Romeo Lavia, Caicedo still in the mix. Kovacic, with only about a year and a half to go, at the end of this season, we'll have one more season left. So, you know, something to think about. Same with Mason Mount situation, right? Um, yeah, he, he definitely enjoyed his time with Thomas Tuchel. He definitely enjoyed his time. He, he's another midfielder that I think Thomas Tuchel at Bayern Munich would really, really appreciate. Me, once again, just like the Mason Mount situation, I am not too bothered about this. If he stays, kudos. If he doesn't, whoop de doo whoop de doo indeed. Anthony Barry has informed Chelsea he wants to move to Bayern. Talks ongoing. Look. A lot of people seem so annoyed about this situation. Why is Thomas Tuchel, you know, tapping up on our staff members, this, that, the other? And there was an article that came out from uh, Matt Law saying, oh, um, Chelsea are annoyed. Chelsea are very, very disappointed with Thomas Tuchel. And I'm thinking, do you know what? What are you disappointed about? This brother wants to leave anyway. Anthony Barry doesn't want to be at Chelsea Football Club. He wants to go to Bayern Munich. Do you think, do you think Thomas Tuchel would say this publicly? If if he didn't if he didn't think that Anthony Barry wanted to join him, if Anthony they would have spoken to Anthony Barry before he even said it publicly. Like Thomas Tuchel had would have had an idea as to who he wanted in his coaching staff when he had the conversation with Bayern Munich. He would have laid it all out, and then I'm pretty sure he would have contacted Anthony Barry, and Anthony Barry probably would have said, "Yeah, I'd love to join Bayern Munich." And that's why he came out publicly and said it. About a lot of Chelsea fans are, you know, how can you, how can you back Thomas Tuchel? This, that, the other, you know, we, we this is Chelsea. Go and go and um, follow Bayern Munich. Now you're a Thomas Tuchel fan. It's got nothing to do about that. It's about it's about just being logical, man. No need to be sitting here and be disappointed with Thomas Tuchel. We've got a lot of things to be disappointed about. <laughs> Thomas Tuchel is the last person you need to be disappointed with. We got plenty of things to be disappointed about, like this season, for instance. And what are we disappointed about? A particular individual like Anthony Barry, who doesn't want to be at Chelsea Football Club. <laughs> he wants to be at Bayern Munich, and now apparently he's been told, you know, not to, not to, not to show up at, at Stamford Bridge or Cobham until the negotiations are done, and it will happen. He wants to go to Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich wants him. Chelsea are now just haggling around to get the best deal out of it. But bottom line is, he does not want to stick around. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know. Let me know your thoughts about the Anthony Barry stuff and how, you know, some parts of the Chelsea fan base are oh, very, very disappointed with Thomas Tuchel. And shut it, man. Absolutely shut it. Kai Havertz would like to leave this summer. However, he will not be joining Bayern Munich. Um, this is from Pletigo. Pletigo is doing a bit of a madness. Florian Plettenberg. Um Lots of news coming out, uh, you know, in regards to Chelsea in the last 24 hours from Florian Plattenberg. I don't know whether it's because now Tom Stuckel is you know, in, in Bayern Munich. Possibly that's probably why. But look, Kai Havertz, it's, it's a sticky situation. Graham Potter likes him. Graham Potter truly, truly likes him. He likes Graham Potter as well. But what's Havertz's best position? You've got the likes of Jao Felix. You've got the likes of Nkunku joining next season. We're linked with the striker. Where does that leave Kai Havertz? Kai Havertz is definitely not good enough to be a number nine. That's probably his best position right now, but he's not good enough to be a number nine. Do you know what I mean? He plays really well just behind a number nine. But we've got Felix, we've got Nkunku. Can he be patient? Can he be an rotational player? But then there's Sterling as well. So someone's got to make room. 
unless we don't go for a particular striker and we stick with Kai Havertz and we mold him into a number nine. Personally, I think, let's see how the season goes. So far, the last three matches, he's actually been pretty good. So let's see if he has a barnstorming finish to the season, especially in the Champions League as well. And then we can make an assessment. But a lot of players, a lot of players will have to leave this football club. Um, once again, another player. I'm not, I'm not too phased about this. All of these players that are getting linked to leave the football club, I'm quite okay. I'm actually quite okay for them to go and for us to revamp. Absolutely fine. And look, right now, my biggest concern is the manager. That's why I can't be too bothered about some of these players. I need, I need to know if it's going to be Grand Potter or someone else next season, because that's the most important part for me at the moment. If it's Grand Potter, get ready for another ride, man. Hopefully, hopefully he, he can change things around next season because we cannot afford to come 10th again. We cannot. We cannot. For many reasons. Financial reasons. FP reasons. Our sustainability reasons. Our, you know, our status as elite clubs, you know, basis as well. So lots of things uh, riding on it. Um Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, Raheem Sterling is back. I'm so glad this brother is back, and I hope this time he can stay fit till the end of the season. We've got a lot of games in the month of April, I think nine, uh, and then obviously it all sort of finishes in May. Um, I believe 10 more Premier League games to go. Um, obviously, crucial Champions League tie against Real Madrid. I need this brother to play every single game from here on in, every single game. His combination with João Felix in that half space, in that inside forward role, was looking good. I need him to come back. I need him to start against Aston Villa. And I hope he does. And I really, really hope he does. He's, he's, a, he's a fantastic player for me. Him and João Felix, they can do a lot of damage for us. I need him to be fit. Need him to, feel, to be very, very fit. And I'm glad he's back. Ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much what is going on in Chelsea Football Club in terms of the latest news. Uh, we'll try and bring the live stream back very, very soon. Hopefully tomorrow. International break's been very, very sucky and boring um that's why i haven't been able to do too many live streams but it will be back we'll be back doing two uh two content pieces of content per day live stream in the morning shorter video in the uh, in the evening uk time and then of course uh the previews reviews um, watch alongs everything will be back make sure you subscribe to the second channel drop the video in regards to uh antonio conte and what next for spurs so do look out for that and subscribe to the second channel as well Smash up the like button. If you're here for the first time, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Till next time. See ya.